What's poppin' YouTube? Um, here to give you guys an update around the dump. Uh, my builder, Jack, he has had the engine bay painted. He's painted around the wheel wells. He's installed my drilled and slotted rotors. He's painted the calipers, and he officially has the rear end installed. All right, some things that went down with the rear end. Uh, as you guys know, I ordered adjustable extended trailing arms and adjustable control arms. Okay, something that I didn't mention to him beforehand was that I was going to go with 26-inch wheels. And me not thinking when he shot me a text showing, showing me a comparison of the stock ones from the ones that I seen, he said, man, these are an inch and a half to an inch three quarters longer than the stock ones. So I was like, damn, you know, me not thinking, you know, I ordered those specifically for, you know, me having big wheels on my car. So, plus I was instructed by a few guys on on Facebook uh, that said that you needed them and so forth. So he ended up cutting them down like an inch and inch and a half. And he was like, okay, well, man, everything else went in. You know, it was a breeze, you know. Uh, the rear end swap wasn't a issue to him at all. He said the only challenge that he had was removing the stock trailing arms out, you know, because I guess the bolts were kind of old or whatnot. So, like I said, going back in, he said it was probably the most easiest thing he's done with the car so far. So, with that being said, he got the he got the rear end did, painted the engine bay, and he has the wheel wells painted and as well as the rear end and the drill, the slider rotors. Okay, so come to find out the engine training combo that I got from the Hot Rod Company did not come with the stall converter. Okay, so he's going through the uh, boxes the first couple of days he was there. Didn't come with a starter uh, and a few other miscellaneous uh, items that you need. Um, I reached out to the high rod company to get an answer as to why they didn't put it in there. And they were saying that, okay, well, those are installment parts. And, you know, the person putting your motor in, blah, 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 should know that they had to put all that type of stuff on. But I was under the impression it was a turnkey crate engine. So me not being all that mechanic savvy or never purchasing uh you know something like this i may may have should have read the fine print or you know did a little bit more research than what i had already done but when, anyway i had to go and get a stall converter just so happened this weekend i had to take my wife to atlanta and she had a class down there for like some she'd be doing wigs and stuff on the side so she had to go down there so while she was in the class sunday i went down to summit racing at Madonna Hugh, Georgia. So I was fortunate enough to go down there, pick that up, and I actually ordered everything else that he said he needed in order for to get the engine in and get it running. I ended up having to order online the clamshells, uh, engine mounts. I ordered an inlet tube and another thing that was similar to it, like a female to male connector. And I had to get a six quarts of break-in or Lucas break-in oil. So I got a few other items I want to show you guys. So here it is. All right, so this is the clamshells. And we couldn't find these anywhere other than some that did have them online, but they were on back order. And I think it was gonna take to like January 3rd before they shipped out. So he went on eBay, found these that were lightly used and told me that he could, uh refinish them and recondition them if need be. Um, this is the stall converter that I picked up from Summit Racing this weekend. It's a 2000 RPM stall. The warranty policy break-in procedure uh, recommends that you use a 2000 to 2400 RPM stall. This guy that I have building it, he's one of those guys who's extremely conservative in terms of, okay, well, you don't want to void your warranty. You don't want to have a car that's idling, you know, radically, you know, at a stoplight. He said, yes, man, it'd be fun. The first two days you're driving around, you know, just playing around because you're so happy and eager to be in it that, you know, the week later when you're just trying to cruise and the car's out of the house, you can't really enjoy it, you know. So he um, we recommended this. I deferred to his judgment. So I went with the 2000 RPM style huge performance converter. 
part number is not up there. I think it's 22 dash 20. As a matter of fact, I know it is. Um, my carpet came in. It's a little darker than what I thought it would be. I actually wanted to go with like a light gray, almost similar to the wall right here, but a little bit darker than that. But I guess I can make it work. I've seen, you know, even if I do the interior, whatever, the light gray, I think it'll, I just think I have to go a little bit darker than what I anticipated. So, that's it. So, yeah, man. Um, we headed in, man. Uh, I think all of the supplies that I ordered uh, should be in by Thursday or Friday. And everything else I believe I had sent to him. I accidentally had this in uh, the other supplies, the oil and all of that stuff sent here. I think I put everything in my cart and accidentally click the button to purchase now before I even put this address in. So I'll definitely be going down there this weekend and uh, recording a video of the shop. He wants to uh, me to vlog that, you know? So I hate I didn't get a chance to vlog the uh, summer racing trip, but yeah. Yeah, man, that's it. Um, as you guys know, uh, I also had orders from 373 Gears in a brand new yoke. I forgot the, what he was explaining about the whole Yoke being a double unit and a single unit. The one that I have, the new one that I bought, he didn't use it. And we're gonna opt to use the gears a little bit later just to see, you know, how things, uh, you know, work out or whatnot and see how everything rides as is with the stock 308 gears. So um, I still got all that stuff sitting down. So for you guys that were, you know, interested and had all the questions about what I was needed for the Impala SS rear end swap. Only thing I used was to extend the trailing arms, st stock springs. Um, I purchased the slotted and drill rotors, brand new, just to exchange the old ones out. And the control, the trailing arms, control arms, adjustable trailing arms. All of those part numbers are easily attained on eBay. Um, was out about maybe six hundred dollars minus the yoke and the gears. I think I paid a hundred dollars for the yoke, and I paid um, hell, I can't remember how much I paid for the gears. But anyway, I know that particular cart I was out of like three hundred dollars, but I can't remember if I added something else to that cart. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, like I said, this weekend when I go down there to drop off all the stuff, hopefully I'll have it running. But I definitely post the video and record everything. I may even go live. So. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. And uh, Top Shell P, man, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.